Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Book and Bujo, where I talk about all things books, bullet journals, and stationery. Today, we are setting up my December reading journal. All right, let's start with setting up my yearlies at the front. So again, still doing pretty good with my pages read and audiobook audiobooks listened to. I will probably not be carrying this over into my next journal, but we'll see. My books read tracker here, bookmark. All right, series. So I did finish Of Wings and Shadow by Kyoko M. So if you have not read the Of Cinder and Bone series, I highly recommend it. Sci-fi with dragon cloning and super fun. I love it. Lots of action. There's some romance. So much fun. See, I did read Deadly Dreams. I'm hoping to get to the Winter of the Witch in December. Empire of Empires and Dust doesn't come out until next year. I finished the Kingfall series. Again, that is a five-star series. If I could give it more, I would. I gave every book five stars. Loved it. Let's see. Nothing else there. I did finish my Discworld series. So I can check off of Cinder and Bone here. Kingfall. I think that's it for those. Yeah, I didn't do great with my series this year. I did okay, but not great. <laughs> Let's see, my D20. Haven't gotten any more of those ones yet. Prime reading, no. Notes for my next journal. <laughs> for my A to Z challenge, I am taking the author's name on this one because I really didn't want to read another zombie book this year. So we're <laughs> doing Autumn Antics. And that was such a cute book. I had so much fun reading that one. And that's by Zoe Tasia. And for my X, I am going to be reading the second book in the Zoe Myers series. So for that one, I will be using the series name. Buzz Wordathon, I did read Only the Worthy for November. Classics, I don't think I've gotten any more of these ones, but I do have one more of those on my list for December. And I've been doing good reading nonfiction, just not any of these ones. <laughs> And I don't have any of these yet, but I do have at least one of them on my December TBR. Okay, I gotta bring over my dot markers because I never set this up for November and I need to set that up for December as well. Got my Stadler, you can't even read the stuff on the markers anymore. It's my Stadler dual tip markers that have the chisel to, or the I don't even know what you call that. It's not really a chisel tip. The marker tip on that side and then the more fine liner, smaller tip on the other. And for these, I have my little cheat sheet over on this side. So we have Brown, which is the Bujo Buddies Book Club. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start December right up here. I'm gonna go one more actually. Do eight. This way I only have to do it once. Make it a little easier. And this one I had noticed I had written September as well, so I had to redo that one for October. Mm, yeah, my markers are definitely dying, so as soon as this journal is over, <laughs> these markers will be gone. Okay, I'm glad I made that a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have the Bujo Buddies Book Club for November and December. And this one right now is the Spell Shop for November and December is, I'll actually say it right this time, Hell Yeah, or no, I keep mispronouncing that title. <laughs> and then we have the Ketchup Book Club, which is going to be the same for both, and that is Malice by John Gwynn. And then we have The Big Book Club, which I believe these ones are kind of juicy. Yeah, these ones are really juicy. <laughs> it's the zig Color dot ones. 
They're fairly new, so they're pretty juicy. And this one is Little Women for both. Oh yeah, let's hope it makes it through this setup. <laughs> All right, and then we have the read alongs. Is that the purple or the pink? I think it's purple. Whoops, definitely not that one. I keep picking up the wrong one. Okay, here we go. I keep picking up my metallic purple one. <laughs> And that one is for the Wheel of Time, and this one was actually Knife of Dreams, but I had that one here, and then New Spring, I had those in the wrong spot, so I'm just going to go ahead and do The Gathering Storm for both of these, because that is the book I will be reading. Oh no! No! Oh, <laughs> I didn't make it. Oh, bummer. Oh, it still shows that there's a bunch in there. Let's see. There we go. I did learn that it, instead of like shaking it, like people kind of do that with it, the best thing to do is just tap it on the page and, oops, and that helps a lot to get the ink flowing again. Okay, so The Gathering Storm at least is where I am in the series. <laughs> Discworld I finished. So then we have a Buzz Wordathon, and this one for November was only the worthy. And then for December we have holiday words, and I will be doing the Christmas wish. So I have read Little Women. I'm not planning on rereading it, so I can cross that one off. I did finish only the worthy. Then we have a Year in Aldia, and I do have the two characters. My ohuhu dot ones are definitely starting to um, run out of juice as well. <laughs> and November. So let's see, what did I read in November for Aldia? Autumn Antics and Endfall. And I did finish both of those. And then for December, I will be doing... Where is it? There we go. Um, the Christmas Wish. And the other one is going to be either Crooked Kingdom or Red Seas Under Red Skies. I think I'm going to put Crooked Kingdom for now as a placeholder. And I may change that. We'll see. Okay, so what else do we have in here? Readathons. Okay, November readathons. <laughs> there weren't quite a few. Let's see. What did I have? A final book support group and tomes and treasures. And I think that was it. Yeah, okay, so it's just the two, so that's not too bad. What colors do I want to do? Let's go ahead and go with the blue. And let's go with the pink. It's, I'm not sure if that's really a pink. More salmon -y color. And a peachy. And that is Tomes and Treasures. All right, and then that will close off November. And I started putting some quotes in here from some of the books I've been reading. Okay, and then we have readathons for December, which there are many, so let's go ahead and do a blue dot to start it off. So let's see, I need 52 book club is one, and that's kind of a year long one. I haven't been putting that in there. I should put that in for next year. Buzzword I got, Aldi I got. Whoop, <laughs> we have Mary Bookmas. We have Lightfall Pass, we have Library of Dragons, and we have Reindeer Readathon. So we have four different readathons. So there's one, two. What other colors do I want to use? Three, and one more. Let's just use this one. Four. Okay, so we have Mary Bookmas, 
Might fall pass. Reindeer readathon. And Library of Dragons. Alright, so I got that one set up. <laughs> Then I have started filling in the colors of the books that I've bought this year that I've read, which is nice because I actually have read some of them. <laughs> and I'm keeping up with putting in all of the books that I have read, which I am now up to 225, which I, I really wanted to read under 200 this year. So I, I kind of want to slow down a little bit more next year. My Bible tracker I'm keeping up with. You can see I got through all of the Old Testament. I'm halfway through the New Testament, so we're getting towards the end of the year. I have my year in Aldia here, and then January. So let's go ahead and do a flip through of November is what I'm looking for. So I do have my audio and pa listened and pages read tracker that I'm keeping up with. And again, this I probably won't do this one next year. I think it, it just takes more time for the reward I get out of it, I guess you could say. And then I have my little tiny calendar that I made way too small <laughs> here. And I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I did actually add in an audio book because I needed one that I could listen to in the car. And the Book of Azrael, I can't download to my phone. So I'm listening to Night Shift as well, which is super cute so far. I have my book clubs and readathons. I finished my TBR Opoly already. My stats will go here. The first book I started was Outlive. We'll see what the last book is. It should be Malice and that, or Pale Kings, depending on which how quick I finish the two of them. And then my favorite so far is End Fall, but we'll see once I finish the last couple. Final book support group, I'm almost done as well. I need to read The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, but I'm still... Um, number seven on the waiting list so I'm not sure if I will be getting that in or not in time that may move to December and then I did read the Liza Lachlamora here for my pull pick and then I still need to finish Pale Kings and I do have an acupuncture session for my self-care next week on Black Friday, actually. So while everyone else is going crazy shopping, I will be um, having a nice relaxing acupuncture session. <laughs> Very excited about that one. I did finish my seasonal spooky challenge and I'm making headway on my horror bingo challenge for the year long one. Tomes and Treasures I'm doing pretty good on. I do need to fill in some more of this, but as you can see here, I've completed this row, this row, this row. I've done these three. So I really only have these two books to finish. And this one is Pale Kings. And this one is The Spell Shop. So I may need to find a different book with an animal on the cover. But we'll see. And then now we have December. This picture, I have no idea where I found that. I did a search last year, I think, for some winter stuff, and I just had a random Google Doc, and I didn't put what the website was where I found this. So I apologize to the artist that I did not find this one, and I will do much better with that in the future to make sure I can uh, credit the artist down in the description box whenever I find some artwork. But all the other artwork that I have in here is from the Readathon creators and I will have them linked down in the description box below. And I have no idea what supplies I will be using except for possibly some journal say papers just because I think these are beautiful and I love these. And I have all of the same supplies I used in my bullet journal setup. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we'll see what I end up using. So let's get started with my December setup.
And now for our final flip through. So I have my December calendar and then all my stats here in this section. And then on this side, I just have a quick little dashboard of my book clubs, read alongs, and the year long readathons that I have here Buzzword, Year in Aldia, and the 52 Book Club. And I will fill these ones in as I go. But I do have more of a tracker on this side for them. So I have my TBRopoly, which I didn't want to squish all into one page, so I did keep them a little bit more separate like I normally do and carried it over onto this side. And then I have a spot here to color in once I've done my review, and then of course I color these ones in as I finish the book. I have my book clubs and whether I completed them and reviewed them my read-alongs, and then my read-a-thons. So again, if I completed them or read them, and then with the 52 Book Club, whether I submitted them to Storygraph. And then moving on, we have all of my month-long read-a-thons. And so we have the Mary Bookmas read-a-thon com by Completely Melanie. And I have all the prompts here, and then I will put in the book covers here once I finish the books, and I have all of what I'm going to be reading here. These two that don't have the book cover spot are the non-reading prompts, and I will fill those in with whatever it is I choose to do for those. And then for the watch party, I will put the covers of the movies that we end up picking. And then I have the schedule for the live sprints, the watch party, the author chat, and the after party, which most of those are all on Melanie's channel, which is completely Melanie. And then myself and Stephanie from Stephanie's Bookverse will also be doing some sprints. And I will leave all of those dates in the description box below for you. And then on this side, we have the Library of Dragons. So this is Anator, my half a druid, half blood elf, and then Quizzery, her dragon. And then this is all of the prompts. And again, I will put the book covers in here in these spaces. And then I'm just leaving this open just in case she releases anything or if I decide to get one of the little critters because she has a little critter cafe. So I'm leaving that space open for that. If not, I will put some kind of sticker or washi or something like that in there for fun. And then I have the Reindeer Readathon with Eric from Break Even Books. Oh, and the Library of Dragons is was created by Books to Ashes. And the Reindeer Readathon by Eric from Break Even Books. I have all of the prompts here and the books that I will read. And then I will just color in the little ornament or the Christmas tree here once I completed that prompt. And then I have this page in case uh, G from Book Roast does Lightfall Pass. I will put all of the information here, maybe print off the little map that goes with it, and maybe do a tip in for the books, or print the book cover off and put it on the map, depending on how she does it this year. And then that's it. I do have this page here that if this isn't enough, I could always put the map on this side and all the prompts and the books on this side, so that's an option. And then this is all stuff I'm starting to compile for my next reading journal. And I also have the little envelope here, the little pocket that's back here. I can use this surface if I need to. Hoping I don't though, but I can definitely use this side for the Lightfall Pass if I need it. And if not, then I will maybe just, uh, print off a fun little picture or something and put that in here. We'll see. Like a little, maybe a quote to goodbye to 2024 or something. But that is all I have for my reading journal for December. So thank you so much for joining me today as I set up my reading journal. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other bookish or planning content. And until next time, keep reading. Keep reading.